All right, I'm gonna make a door here. And I got this command viewer to show you most of everything that I'm selecting. So I'm gonna go over here and click the orthographic view. So this is looking directly at me. Gonna use the grid here. And we're gonna select here. And we're gonna go four across. And we're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high. Double click to validate. We're gonna go into the surface modeling here and we're gonna add thickness to the door. And we're gonna scale this back down and validate. I'm running full DG here. Um, I always collapse, collapse it when I go to the next step. Uh, sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not. So, if things are not working, you might want to collapse the dynamic geometry. Face mode here. I'm going to drag over a few here. Hold the shift key down. Drag over a few here. Well, at this point in time, I'm going to hold the control key down. As you see, my manipulator, manipulator changed. I'm going to click on this blue arrow. And that's all I'm going to do is click it. I'm not going to move my mouse, so I clicked it once. Alright, now I'm going to click it again, but I'm going to move it in. As you can see, there's a little bit of shading problem that's going on there. It's the way that the light is hitting these uh, flat faces. So when I get it in just where I want it, I'm going to let go of the mouse button again. Then I'm going to click the blue arrow again. Alright, at this time, I'm going to let off the control key and press the enter to validate it. All right, this might help you uh, in this other application to make it render a lot better. So there is my uh, door here. Let's take a look at it. It's got a little insert to it. All right, we'll go ahead and hide that. We'll go into front view mode here. We're going to go into the lines tab and we're going to select intro plated curve. Uh, we're going to set this down just a little bit here. And we're going to select here. Here. Approximately here and up here. validate that and we're going to select the circle from center and we're going to come down here to the the second one it's got the two blue points highlighted on here hold the shift key snap to here and when I drag out I'm looking at the crosshair in this white grid it's going to let me know when to stop now I just tap the space bar so I'm directly in this constraint here. Double click. I'm going to click to finish this here to validate it. Hold the shift key down and snap it around. We're going to go back to the surface modeling and we're going to select the extrude. My circle is selected first. Then I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click the, select the top here and validate it. Collapse the dynamic geometry. Let's scale this down to fit the door a little bit here. Hold the shift key to snap it. Let's turn on wireframe so we can see both of these here. so we can see a little bit better. And that's basically how to make a real simple door. Thank you very much.